pirates have existed since ancient times. These swashbucklers threatened the trading routes of ancient Greece and seized cargo from Roman ships. The golden age of piracy was from approximately 1650 to 1720 and saw thousands of active pirates, some of the most famous being William Captain Kidd, John Calico Jack Rackham, Edward Blackbeard Teach, and the subjects of today's episode, Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. My name is Alyssa Archambeau. Let's learn together. Most of what historians know about Anne Bonny, Mary Reed, and pirates in general comes from a book by Captain Charles Johnson titled A General History of the Robberies and Murders of the Most Notorious Pirates. This book, written in 1724, outlines the lives of some of the most infamous pirates. Anne Bonny, born Anne McCormick in 1689, was born out of wedlock near Cork, Ireland. To avoid scandal, Bonny's father dressed her as a boy and introduced her as the child of a relative. When Bonnie's true sex and parentage were discovered, Bonnie's parents moved to South Carolina and continued to raise Bonnie as a boy, albeit a rebellious one. When Bonnie married James Bonnie, a poor sailor, in 1718, she was disowned by her father and the pair moved to the Bahamas to find work. There, Bonnie ran into Calico Jack's crew. She abandoned her husband, began a romance with Calico Jack, and joined his crew dressed as a man. Mary Reed was also born out of wedlock in England in 1685. Reed's mother already had a son from a previous marriage, and when that son tragically passed away, Reed's mother decided to give Reed a boy's name, dress her in boy's clothes, and raise Reed as the son who had died. Disguised as a boy, she worked as a crew hand on a ship and later as a soldier in the British military. Ready? Aim. She eventually fell in love with and married a man in the military, but when he suddenly died, Reed packed up and sailed to the West Indies on a ship that was unexpectedly captured by pirates. Reed, still dressed as a man, immediately agreed to join Calico Jack's crew. This is when Bonnie, dressed as a woman, tried to seduce the masculinely dressed Reed, who informed Bonnie she was a woman, and showed her breasts to prove it. Bonnie promised to keep Reed's secret, and the two became friends, confidants, and, depending on the source, lovers. Captain Johnson believed the women were lovers at least for a short time, stating Bonnie fell in love with Reed and hints at a strong intimacy between the two women. Additionally, Johnson claims Calico Jack became jealous of Bonnie's relationship with Reed, threatening to slit Reed's throat to stop the romance. What we do know, though, is that during battles, Bonnie and Reed fought together, wearing billowing jackets, long pants, and handkerchiefs wrapped around their heads. Both Bonnie and Reed had reputations as two of the toughest pirates to sail the seven seas, known as some of the fiercest fighters on Calico Jack's crew. Reed was known to pick fights with crew members over petty insults, and Bonnie is rumored to have stabbed a man in the heart for making comments about women on board ships bringing bad luck to sailors. Near midnight on October 22, 1720, one of the British governor's vessels ordered the crew to surrender and launched a counterattack when the crew fought back. Go, go, go. After an altercation, Bonnie, Reed, and the rest of Calico Jack's crew were overpowered and taken prisoner. On November 16, Calico Jack and 10 of his crew were sentenced to death in Spanish Town, Jamaica, and hanged a few days later. Bonnie and Reed were tried on November 28th and also sentenced to death, but their sentences were canceled on the grounds that both women were pregnant. Reed passed away in prison in 1721, most likely of complications relating to childbirth. Bonnie gave birth in prison, and upon being released, returned to Charlestown, South Carolina, where she gave birth to Calico Jack's second child. She married a local man, had eight more children, and lived in South Carolina until she died at age 84. Many historians have doubts about whether Captain Johnson's story of Bonnie and Reed is true, and some argue a general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates should be considered a fictional novel rather than a historical account. However, we do know without a doubt that Bonnie and Reed were real people and were, in fact, pirates. There are historical accounts of their legal trials, convictions, and jail sentences. The rest of their stories, however, are only preserved in Captain Johnson's book. Thank you for joining me on this short journey about the lives of pirate queens Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. Until next time, keep learning and unlearning. <laughs>